a very warm welcome to all you wonderful viewers of our universal mentors association digital education summit and awards 2022 the second edition we are in the final day panel number 2 coming up a huge huge panel talking about you know one of the most important topics for the uh, summit we are talking about changing career trends in the 21st century and in this panel we have a wonderful panelist uh, to start off with dr ramesh t who is the principal of scad world school uh, welcome sir and he'll yes. also be the moderating moderator of the panel yes. we have ms chaya p who is the counselor a uh, school counselor of state anand ram jaipuria school vasunda we have mr palash biswas who will be joining us shortly who is the counselor of pb experts advisory we have mr varun chaturvedi who is the deputy marketing manager from state mr jaipuria kupur schools and last but definitely not the least we have ms uh, neetu dhanwal who is the director of business operation of lsac global welcome ma'am uh, thank you so much for supporting uh, you know the initiative of uh, universal mentors association digital education summit and awards welcome you and without further ado i would request dr ramesh uh to please uh, take the panel away and uh, continue with this amazing panel and amazing topic awesome. uh, we yeah. wish you a very very happy happy panel discussion and uh, to all the ladies once again a very very happy women's day have a wonderful panel ahead thanks thank you sir thank you for the introduction sir so first of all i want to thank all the universal mentors who have been arranged for this such a wonderful uh, workshop so welcome to all i am audible i think so yes sir yes sir yes sir so today's topic is a very good topic which we can go for a whole day the topic has been we can discuss with the whole day the career challenges of 21st century so this is a topic which we has given for us so i hope all have been aware of the what are the challenges we are facing in 21st century so this topic we are going to have a discussion and we come to on conclusion what's uh, future work in 21st century we are going to face so before going into the topic uh, there are so many challenges we are facing in the life uh, that too in the 21st century we are going to face so many hurdles i have seen i have taken so many research papers and i have seen uh, it come to a conclusion that uh, there are so many hurdles we judge we are going to face in 21st century it's not an easy task the employment task has been given for us there are so many uh, departments which has been facing in nowadays take for example goods producing mining construction manufacturing durables uh, these are the already they are facing so many hurdles over there even we are facing in such a way the transportation communication utilities the wholesale retail finance even the government sector federal government and state local and government sectors has been facing so many difficulties on the whole we come to know that the technology and globalization is been booming into the sector this technology and globalization becomes the networking for business industries and home they change the way so the technology is underlying the internet and telecommunication this is a way the 21st century we are facing we can give us we can give we can go on discuss many topics on this uh, uh, career challenges practically we have to see the electronic commerce or e-commerce playing a vital role nowadays so the uh, yesterday i have been uh, selected few topics and i shared with you because there are so many topics we can go on uh, discuss in this topics so uh, so i feel that uh, better we can go with the specific topics uh, which we can discuss today that is what are the five basic issues of changing work and i have given another question also what are the career opportunities in the 21st century and how do you choose your career in 21st century and can list out the best skill of the 21st century and what are the key challenges of 21st century in workplaces uh, i am for my part of it these are the important uh, views which we can discuss today and one more point i have been discussed uh, 
three questions so that we can come with a conclusion. So we can select any three questions and we can come to a point and we can come to a conclusion. In that very, very important part is the best skill of 21st century. What are the best skills? Because nowadays skills are very, very important. We, uh, without the skill, we cannot face the 21st century of the work environment. There are so many, if you Google it, we can see so many uh, century skills are there. Critical thinking, creativity, problem solving, information literacy. Another one important nowadays is the skill is technology skill and digital literacy is a very, very important for us to cope up with the, the 21st century of the skill. So you may be giving so many points, I think so. From my point of view, I have been giving these points. Self-direction, social skill is very, very important. Social responsibility is more important nowadays for the 21st century skill. So the, think, uh, the skills are very important for us. Rather than we are going with uh, simply the employment and we are going with the uh, technology, the skills are very, very important, I think so. So I hope you will be going with the same line what I am being speaking with us. So uh, if anyone, uh, we can start with a few points what I have been discussed. So we will go with that and we will see what conclusion we are coming with that. Uh, so anyone can start with that points and uh, you can come to a conclusion. So, so uh, may I, sir? Yeah, definitely, sir. So thank you. Uh, thank you for the wonderful opportunity with interacting with all the empaneled guest members. So, so as you were discussing, the, there were certain points. Uh, so I would be speaking on uh, how do we choose our career in the 21st century? Exactly. Right. So I representing the Jaipuria schools, I will share my view that what we do in our school. Sure. How, sure. how we do it. Do it yeah. Right? yeah. So uh, about Jaipuria, we have around uh, 40 plus operation schools and all. So, but we follow the same methodology in each of the schools, whether being in a metro city or being in a tier two, two or three city, right? Sure. So, what we do uh, in Jaipuria is we have a counseling cell sensitive to students about the uh, career options that are there these days. Uh, like in the past, we used to, parents will say that uh, if a student passes out, either he becomes an engineer, either he becomes a doctor or a CA. Right. First of all, we guide them. There are multiple career options available for him as well, for the students. So uh, what we do is we do a proper profile of the students at a very young age, knowing about the interests, his hobbies and everything. So we guide them. Then students get to be a part of a chisel. Uh, this is a unique program where the students first show, they show the professional. First, they come under with under a professional uh, which uh, of their certain interest is there and sure. work them on this problem area, work with them on their problem area. Exactly. Uh, because of our multidisciplinary approach, students are exposed to multiple career options, as I told you earlier as well, and uh, know their interest area as per their interests, their hobbies and all. And we keep on a close monitoring as well, because what happens is uh, as the children, as the student uh, approaches, to, approaches to senior classes, there might be a slight shift in his hobbies or interest areas as well. So we monitor, monitor closely and uh, our students focus on a real life situation and solutions of that also, right? Including making a pitch to cooperate and raising awareness about the social issue, issues also is there. We make sure that uh, exactly. these all things are covered. So uh, all these ensures there is a major focus on the 21st century skill decision making as you are saying that uh, skill development uh, thing is a very important uh, sure, sure. This, right? Definitely. And uh, we include teamwork, collaboration, leading and delegation, etc. also is there. And as you were saying, technology is such an important thing these days related to the uh, choosing of your career. And then technology uh, then comes become an enhancer for every and everything is there and not focus on everything. And uh, on a lighter note, of course, Shark Tank has uh, just give, give, gave a boost of the entrepreneur spirit in more in India as well. So these are the small things that we follow. Uh, for each student so that we can know their interest and uh, we can guide them for this. So you will be giving an individual counseling for the students? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So class five onwards, we do this, right? Uh, we keep on monitoring each year, each year by year. 
and after class 8th as well we keep on uh, we have a uh, we monitor them again as i told you there are slight shift in their interest also and we also guide them with the multiple other options available in the, uh, which are there in terms of profession sure sure definitely sir. so nice to hear from you sir uh, the points which are given for the students what are the skills you have been added up with the school life it's a wonderful uh, decision making as given. well as uh, team work is also important we exactly exactly sir. So it's a very wonderful uh, points we have gathered today. Uh, you have given a very good night nice information for the students, which has been added up with you. Uh, so next, anyone can take up with the points to add values for him. Acha, I want to go first, or do I go? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah i will uh, uh, speak about like you know major reasons like you know responsible for uh, changing the careers exactly. i can give my own examples like you know after working for 14 years i changed my career wow i nice. i become a career counselor Very so good. why did i become career counselor because i was not happy with my job i didn't i discovered my passion after 14 years so even one can say why people uh, go for career change exactly so the five factors which are responsible are one is salary and the philosophy change goal change and uh, the leadership comp- incompetence in the current organization and uh, flexibility of job people are more concerned about the flexible job these days and job satisfaction so exactly. and sometimes what and people want to explore new avenues to discover their passion so these are the five factors i feel are the responsible for the career uh, change exactly exactly uh, so in the point of professional change you are telling no uh, yeah. uh, if i am not satisfied in one job uh, uh, so since you are being a career guidance uh, what counsel you will be giving in such a way if i am not satisfied with my job so i will ask uh, so usually when i am since i am a career counselor and this should be start we should start this in the school level see exactly. when i am counseling students i encourage students to explore their interest and passion their area of interest i start career counseling at the age of uh, 14 onwards means when students are in ninth grade now i give them career information i ask them to explore different careers and accordingly they should uh, compare the, their interest to the particular career whether they would like to pursue that career or not and they i also suggest them to uh, uh, see whether they have that particular aptitude for that particular career and we conduct psychometric test for the students so these are the things we follow excellent. in our school excellent ma'am excellent 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 Uh, so you are you are following from uh, grade nine onwards. Yes, sir. We follow from the grade nine. Right, right. Uh, happy to uh, gathering this information. Uh, yeah, we uh, do individual counselling for each every student. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, your school name, ma'am? Ah, uh, Seth Anandram Jaipuriya School, Ghaziabad. Wow. Right, right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. We are gathering new information from your side also. <laughs> Added up values. So, ma'am, need to, ma'am, you can share your views, ma'am. So, uh, thank you, everyone. Those were great insights, and I think I do not disagree with any one of them. And because I am on the other side of it, you guys Excellent. are prepared, yes. Yes. preparing the the people for us to employ, right? In a way, yes. and we are also being part of the high school uh, in the sense that we uh, do the LSAT India exam, which is a low entrance examination. So, we have a connect there as well. so great uh, varun and shaya that you're giving them alternate options because as rightly varun said uh, earlier only three careers were there either you could be an engineer doctor or a ca and if you were in art section or humanities you were doomed you were yeah. not go not going anywhere because you would just end up with a ba and you would i'm sorry to say but at that time it was like you'll become a teacher um, yes. you know that, that was not respected profession at that time right exactly. but now there's so many options and uh why why law right now because law is something that has uh, because of covid because of the international borders being blurred because of the space uh, you know uh, advances that we are making which is the digital advancement that is coming law has become so very important whether it's ip 
there's a space law, fashion law, sports law. You talk about it and there's so many opportunities in law, right? So exactly. that's what we talk about. And then I'll just quickly touch upon what is our uh, you know, challenge as a, at a workplace, right? So I will talk both from the employee as well as employer perspective. Sure. So for employee who's coming, you know, so there's so many companies to choose from. You could go to Google uh, or somewhere or you could work with the startup, right? You could uh, work in a company where there are there's a small company which is starting or you can work with a huge company which has got set rules, procedures, processes, right? You could work in a company where there is no time where you come in, when you leave and you could also say, no, I want a work-life balance, right? I don't want to work 24 hours and, you know, be dead by the end. I want to enjoy my life. Take a break, right? And finally, you would think about it. Do I grow by changing jobs, jumping jobs, or do I grow by sticking to the organization? I have an organic growth by learning. So that's the employee challenge, right? For the employer, we, we look at a CV and Chai, I'm sorry, right now you just said, you know, uh, but that was 14 years later, right? But I get CVs where people have started say they, they were graduates, they thought about something. So let me try finance, then try sports uh, company, do something there, do something there. And when we see a CV, there is no track. How do I choose whether this person is going to fit into my organization or not? So what as employer, what I do have to check is what skills have they gathered? So we come to that point again, Varun, that you were talking about, the aptitude and the skills. Are these people adaptable? Do they have digital uh, knowledge? Uh, do they, can they work in an ambiguous environment where we just suddenly come up with something and you know, throw at them that, can you do this? So I'll just take that pause here and let uh, Dr. Ramesh ask further questions. Exactly. Uh, Neetu ma'am, I want to say something here. <laughs> because since, since I have made the mistake, I don't want students to make the mistake. Ah, uh, exactly. That is the reason. That is the reason I'm in. I have become career counselor to guide students. Perfect, sir. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. So nice, ma'am. Uh, so from your point of view, you have that, uh, ma'am. You are from Discover Law. Uh, I represent LSAC Global, and our campaign is called Discover Law. We, okay. you know, help students. Uh, identify the career opportunities within the space of law. Uh, so one more question from Varun Chaturvati, sir. Sir, okay. uh, sir I, as you told that you are giving a career guidance and counseling for the students. Yeah, to, yes. Uh, how benefit the, the students? Uh, the parents, they are very much satisfied with your uh, count, career counseling or they are yeah. going for any other private agency or after giving you a career counseling. Sir, uh, what we do is, as I told you, we monitor them from the class 5th, class 8th, right? Yeah. And uh, we do an aptitude test and all. We share the results with the parents also. Wow, nice. Uh, because uh, the parents also know, uh, needs to know the key interest of the students and all. So that uh, parents are the right mindset. That uh, they also need to know that what their child likes. And, sure. and they don't yeah. need to be pushed to be a doctor. You have to do this. Exactly, right? exactly. That's one of the most important things. Exactly. Uh, nice, sir. nice. Sir. So, uh, as we have discussed these following points, uh, we, uh, one more point we can add up with that. There is what is the 21st century of workplace change? Because this is an important line. We have to underline this one. Workplace change. Because the technological change and international competition have created a need for workers who are educated and highly skilled. In addition to demanding increased skill, however, the employers will also demand for more flexible workforce. See, for example, for my our students, my students, they have been studying in Canada. They are working for 10 hours as a part-time job. The skills are very high, but the demand is very low in for the college students. See, take for example, most of the fastest growing jobs will require college degree. The majority of the new job being created from home, health aids and desktop publishers require knowledge other than gained from earning a degree. So for worker in those jobs, good basic reading, communication, mathematical skill, 
play an important role in getting a job in developing a career that's uh, for a degree so workplace is very very moderate and we have to face in 21st century the first professional degree as soon as they get they need a very good profession job so bachelor degree then they have to go for master's degree then they have to go for associate degree then they have to go for a uh, doctorate degree post secondary vocational training they have to go so the nlp the new nlp they are saying that the vocational training is a very very important for the students for the 21st century of the skill they have to face the face the nation so these are the things which we are being coming up put up put up everything so i want to know more about this how to choose your career in 21st century can anyone share these points uh, uh, how to choose your career in 21st century let, let me begin uh, dr ramesh this time so i think uh, vajay and varun have really touched upon it uh, in a yeah. in different ways but yeah. i think i'll just put it into three or four points so first of all gauge your passion as chaya said exactly. and varun said that they're finding out what passion a student has so gauge your passion what do you like are you an outdoor person are you an indoor person do you like public speaking are you a very secluded like to write uh, something so so you have to first gauge your passion right then uh, you may or may not have that aptitude you may exactly. love something from the heart of you know but you may not have the skills or the aptitude for it but it is nothing to be worried about these skills are something that you can build over the over mm-hmm. a period of time yes you can't just say that oh you are not not good or not meant for it yes you are meant for it if you have passion enough you'll work you'll have to work harder harder than other people so if i want to be a mag- musician and i'm bad at it uh, i i can become a musician but i'll have to work like 100 times more than a person who has a natural knack for it right exactly. so I, so this that will be my second point right so gauge your gauge your passion gauge your aptitude and skills and there uh, varun has varun and chaya said there are psychometric tests available now who can which can tell you what can you do that how can you find that out and then figure out what will be the eligibility for that stream so for example if you want to be a doctor you have to be having biology in your 11th and 12th standard you can't take commerce and say i want to be a doctor so you have to figure out the eligibility uh, figure out all the uh, the the different areas in it so for example when we talk about law and i just talked about the few <clears throat> if you want to choose law you may say what is there i can't become a wo kala coat pehen ke order order karna i don't want to do that or i don't want to be a stamping agency somewhere you know something like that but there no, that's not just law law has so much more hmm. you can be a counsel you could be a attorney you could be a couple civil or you could be a politician or you could be the president of america you could be anything right you could be gerard butler you could be an actor after studying law it it just gives you some perspective whatever you have learned right and then uh, once you have figured out that eligibility and all work on your strengths but work harder on your weakness area so that's how we would just you know put it in a nutshell right? exactly, exactly exactly I, i agree with your points ma'am uh, as per the practical life you are telling about this thing surely i i have to accept these points all we will accept these points so the the one more point very important which we have to discuss is can anyone share the five basic issues of the changing work in the world of 21st century because there are so many basic issues we are facing in the 21st challenging 21st century so if you are going on means we can go on adding up the points so even nowadays the uh, students facing the same issues uh, the target they are not being put up with that one student want to become a doctor so uh, if an lk uh, for the grade 1 or grade 2 students we are asking once what do you want to become they are telling that i want to become a police ips officer or so and so same student we are asking uh, they are coming for 10th grade we are asking means they are changing their career and the same student if they are coming for in grade 12 we are asking what do you want to become i want to become i want to finish my degree first then only i can decide so some of the students they are aiming for high some of the students they don't have the vision and mission because of the parents also because of uh, so many reasons 
So just we can have some small discussion about this. What are the five basic issues of the changing work world of the 21st century? Can anyone uh, put up the point with that? Too many options, I believe, Dr. Ramesh. There's so much. Yeah. I mean, my daughter, when she was young, she asked me, can I be a police officer and a painter at the same time? That was her question to me. I said, yes, yes you can. Right? And, so, and now she asked me if she can become a heart surgeon and, you know, something, uh, exactly. or some other thing, right? Or writer. And so you can. So, but uh, that's the challenge. There is so much more. I wasn't said, right? Three, from three professions exactly. to like hundreds of them. Sure, sure. Uh, Varun sir, you can add up with your points this because uh, your students have uh, been, uh, you are having some vision and mission in your schools. Uh, how the challenges facing by the students and uh, whether so they are being. What, what happens is we have seen that uh, the basic pressure of a student is, comes from the parents. Sure. Right? Uh, what happens is we have seen that uh, students approach us say that, so I want to become a doctor, but my parents are forcing me to, uh, to study for, to prepare for engineering. Exactly. Right. Or uh, some say that uh, we have a passion for going for a, becoming a, a fashion designer or a cook, but my parents are not supporting us. Sure. Right. So there's a pressure from the parents as well in society also. So that's where we try to interact with the parents and uh, convince them, see, these are the changes that we have seen. We need to not pressurize them as well. So we keep on monitoring them and uh, as Sneeti ma'am also said that passion is also important. So we try to keep a balance exactly. between them. Exactly. Ma'am, Chaya ma'am, uh, can you add up the points ma'am? Ah, yes sir. Even I agree with Varun sir. Whenever I counsel students, when I ask them, does the students come and say like, you know, ma'am, I want to become a chef, but my exactly. parents say no, there is no scope for... Uh, uh, career in the chef, you, you take something. And most of the students I've seen, they, they are taking science, PCM subject. Why okay. students are taking PCM subject? They say, ma'am, if you take science subject, it uh, keeps your uh, options open. You can go for all the, and they don't give. And they have the thing, like, when I suggest humanities, humanities also has got a lot of career options. They say, ma'am, humanities is for those students and who are not good at studies. They have that uh, uh, misconception. Yeah. 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 And uh, recently when I like counseling the students, they asked, they came and told me, uh, I asked one student, uh, what do you want to become better? He said, ma'am, I want to become a pilot. Okay. Then I said, see, physics and uh, mathematics are the main subject to become a pilot. Are you good at mathematics? He said, ma'am, mathematics to samaj mein aata. Then I asked, so how will you do that? You have to work hard. And why Why do you want to become pilot? He said, ma'am, I like their uh, uniform and they like the glamorous. <laughs> they are influenced by the, uh, uh, like, you know, personality of the pilot and that's why they are uh, choosing. But in that case, we have to guide them properly. Exactly, exactly. Ma'am, uh, recently uh, I have taken on a small research. Uh, Google Pichai has given a very good uh, article uh, for a 21st century, the career skills, uh, which was very important for the students. Uh, top 10 career the analyst has been given options for given for the students. Mm, so he has given, uh, he, he has, uh, he has given an article for the grade 12 students. After finishing a class 12, uh, better, there are 10 options. Data scientist, data analyst, blockchain developer, digital marketer, cloud computing professionals. Nowadays, artificial intelligence and machine learning expert, they are going on with that. If you want to become a manager of a company or expert, they have to complete their MBA, software developer, big data engineer, cyber security experts. So he has given so many uh, options for the student. Uh, this are not all. As a teacher, as a counselor, we have to guide the students proper line, and they have to understand what is this and what uh, what we are going to be in future. Because they don't have any vision and mission. 
till the grade 12 the students they are going on with a blind vision because since the education system we are following is we cannot blame the system also we cannot blame the parents also uh, but as a, as a counselors we are going on we can see so many students without the vision and mission they are being put up with that uh, so uh, we can guide them in proper way and they because this 21st century skill uh, skills are very important rather than completing their degree or a plus two or uh, whatever may be it's a very easy task nowadays but the aspect the skill they are using they can go for the uh, particular job and they can settle in their life uh, so almost you have given very good points varun sir has given chaya ma'am and ditu ma'am you have given a very good points uh, so all together we can club the all the points means it will be very useful for the students to utilize this one so the last one we can go with that uh, the points everyone each and every points we have discussed so last one uh, what are the five basic issues of changing work we have seen and career opportunities we have seen uh, and we have uh, choose why the career in 21st century we have seen and the best skills of 21st century we have seen and at last we are even we have shared the points of 21st century skill in the workplace also we have seen one more point we have to discuss the last point uh, which is very important i think so from all the points gathering together uh, in the current market area in the 21st century as personal point of view each and everyone has a point uh, we have the personal point of view and the discussions so anyone can discuss what criteria we have to make it for the 21st century and what are the hurdles we are facing uh, it is not in the education sector in all together uh, i am not talking about only in the education sector because due to this pandemic we can go on with the education sector means we can go on add up the points i am not adding up with only the education sector uh, all together uh, uh, because uh, so many hurdles we are facing uh, we can start with need to ma'am because uh, need to ma'am has uh, uh, very good uh, stuff i think so to discuss this point no dr ramesh it's just the age that i am and that i have got so many points <laughs> exactly ma'am <laughs> <laughs> no so i think uh, when i see uh, the most the biggest thing that we see now is uh, is digital awareness so exactly. I, even if you are a gate uh, security guard right in a security in a in a uh, say society you yeah. need to le learn how to do that my gate application right how to work mm -hmm. on that because your employees want that your building requires that security so the digital awareness is uh, has to be there and i'm not saying you have to be like a <clears throat> science ai ml as you said artificial intelligence machine learning and all blockchain but just just have that knack of asking someone that hey can, can you tell me how to work on this application because everything is application based now you want to make a payment you need to know paytm and upi and other things exactly you want to uh, work in a in a small uh, you know uh, organization you need that working in a bigger organization everywhere you can't work without computers anymore there are no registers papers and pens in the world in this world the sadly though uh, uh, that is that is the first thing that i would say is both the hurdle and both the uh, you know need of the hour right and secondly as i said uh, pandemic has taught us that anything is possible yesterday only we saw uh, ukraine being attacked by russia Exactly. Well, how is how is that going to impact us? We don't know uh, for sure. So there's so much ambiguity all this time. So uh, a person, I personally, I feel that if you are very good at figuring out things quickly and you're quick on your on your feet, right? Then you are very you're going to be successful in any area of the world. You know, you don't have to be. I am a simple graduate, and I ended up where I am just because I was always ready. there is a work that is given to me i say please do that i please bring it on i'll do it the the biggest thing that these students have learned these days is learn to say no hello you learn to say no when you have learned everything right you don't say no to learning you say no to uh, say harassments you say no to 
uh, you know when your work life balance is going off but you don't never say no to learning which is a very different you know distinguisher thing that people do not understand at this moment right exactly. and thirdly as i said as chaya and varun have been talking about what they know at fifth, fifth standard changes drastically five years is a big time for technology change by that time there are 100 other professions that have come up so people have to be constantly aware of things that hey uh, research do do a lot of research keep on doing talk to people networking is so important right uh, schools are there like all of you ha- are doing such a great job in your schools where you and we we talk to high schoolers these days and if we find them so much aware they ask us very pertinent questions uh, when we go to them so you guys are doing a great job there but i think the other two points that i talked about is what i in my personal opinion are very very important things uh, in this world exactly exactly nice nice but thanks for sharing these points ma'am uh varun sir can you i have can you personally can say that uh, what are the hurdles uh, your teachers or uh, uh, from your uh, organization anybody facing these hurdles sir the biggest challenge in the 21st century if we talking about workplace right now is yeah. the mind mindset shift exactly right so uh, the thing is people obviously get confused uh, and they say that uh, technology will replace people exactly at the workplace right but what i believe is that people who use technology will replace people who don't catch up with technology exactly right so the best example is the covid like uh, i'll i'll share two examples with you right first uh, from schools like teacher were hesitant in using the zoom classes and all right exactly. they used to say that they, that's not their cup of tea or so but yes. covid ne ye bhi sikha diya in second example i would share uh, if we go back in terms of uh, like uh, there was an just neeti ma'am was saying that technology <laughs> was important hai aaj ke time pe in the banking sector there uh, there was a chain that you need to know computer everything was going going online so there was a backlash from the employees as well but slowly and steadily there was a mind shift then they realized that uh, using technology would be a boon for them as well exactly sir right so this the mindset shift is this required and understanding that world has become such smaller and more accessible exactly These yeah. are also challenges that I feel. Yeah, I accept, sir. What the points you have tell is an exactly the same which I have been also faced with. Uh, ma'am, Chaya, ma'am, uh, you can add a few points uh, because the hurdles. All we have faced the hurdles in the twenty first century. Yes, sir. Yeah. See, one pandemic. What pandemic has has taught that during this pandemic, only those people have survived. Those who have multiple skills. Exactly. and those who don't have multiple skills they have vanished they have exactly. lost their job so exactly. what i say that with the de- with the development of technology one has to enhance their skill acquire new uh, knowledge and industry specific uh, skills that is more relevant sure uh chai i would say not not just having multiple skills but the uh, the the passion or the thing in your heart that you can learn Yes. you know you may not be multitasker at this moment but if the things are thrown like varun said if the teachers are thrown like hey start the classes on zoom if they are ready to learn they will survive yes. but if if they don't they won't they won't survive so you may not be there but you you can learn it and just we we have this thing you know that oh i'm now 40 i can't learn anymore and i'm just going on to the other side or you know youngsters say we can learn anything that mindset varun has rightly said has to change we don't exactly. have to Put an age to a thing. Yeah. Learn also. Definitely, definitely. I mean, actually, just a few decades ago, business magazines they celebrated uh, the latest office technology, cutting edge equipment such as electric electronic typewriters and dictaphones today. But today, it is the digital phones and personal digital assistants has been come. So this technology has been grown up. So we are living in a world. If you could. I have imagined 50 years ago also, what we the workplace look like half a century from now. So there are so many articles has been reflected. The workplace has been given for the 21st century. Uh, 
we can uh, we can go on and add up with the points what we going to what we want to tell the number of jobs in the non farm goods producing sector has been fairly stable in 1970s or 1980s they are facing so many hurdles now all become digital they are becoming very easy for them to do the business so in 21st century all going to become a digital artificial intelligence has been in put for us machine learning has come to and force uh next day uh, next academic year next year all the business people they are going with an art almost they are going with an artificial intelligence machine learning has come to and force nowadays students they are putting up with to learn artificial intelligence coding they are putting up so 21st century skill is an very very important for us i think so for a grown up people uh, we are not we are adapted with that but our uh, Uh, product our our units that is i am telling about the students they have to learn more and more i think so mining construction man manufacturing durables service in production finance insurance real estates whatever we are going with the sectors all going to be become with an artificial intelligence so new technology is booming now so computers and information technology have affected almost with every industry computer managed invest inventory suggest in time manufacturing servicing help of business to control cost the barcode and scanners has put up in with the leading manufacturers develop the business links also they are supply and customers whatever we want to add we can add up with this 21st century skill there are so many think points we can add up with it. to conclude this uh, at the last moment i am going i want to have a conclusion that Uh, the executives the administrative and managerial professionals all are facing these hurdles nowadays agriculture forestry fishing everyone has been put up with that and they are facing the difficulties we are all educators as educators we have to know that how to shape up the students nowadays it's very difficult because molding up the students is not an easy task for us we can we can teach them we can advise them we can give a career guidance counseling everything we can give them on the whole we have to see that whether it has been utilized by the students they will listen very carefully what we are saying as soon as they came outside and we are asking what the points you have gathered any useful information you have gathered immediately they will know just i gathered some important points but i don't know what to do with that these are the things we are facing in this 21st century uh, so we can wind up with these points and uh, i have gathered so many points with you uh, i want all together we have to do it and uh, I, I even i can submit a small uh, point a booklet and book what are the points i have given because varun chaturvedi sir chaturvedi sir has given a more points chaya mam has discussed with us uh, what's a count as a counselor what he is facing need to ma'am has given as per the law everything what we have to do and what face what are the uh, challenges we are facing so all together we we are come to an conclusion in the sense 21st century skill is a very very important for the students as well as the coming criteria so we have to face no other go so all together we have to be ready with this points uh, if anyone want to add some points we can add up with that or we can conclude with this one Uh, Dr. Ramesh, I'll just add one last point. Somehow, yeah, you know, whatever we have talked about, yeah. people should not, and you know, imagine that it's only the science and the technology people who will survive. Because we are still talking about AI, ML, and everything. Yeah. As this is growing, the need for arts, the need for sports, yes. the need for psychologists, the need exactly. for psychiatrists is also increasing. So, none. I do not want any of the listener to take away that. Hey, it's just this. technology is the only the thing to go the finance sector is booming like crazy i don't know i don't even understand cryptocurrency there is so much into for the commerce students there there is so much for the humanities and art students there uh, just do not take away that that there is only technology that is going to lead everything you must know technology but it's not the only thing you just have to be adapted to it
Exactly, ma'am. The points which you have discussed is exactly we can accept all together. We can accept this point because uh, nowadays uh, not only the uh, artificial learning or machine learning. Uh, as a ma'am told, uh, uh, ma'am told that we have to accept everything. Uh, all we have to accept that thing. So any any other points we have to add up, ma'am. So as we can, uh, sir, Sandeep, sir. Uh, I I I definitely have something to add. Uh, yeah, you sure, know, sir. when we when we chose this amazing panel, where we thought of you know the role of a career counselor in shaping the future of the student. Exactly. Uh, what we really wanted to uh, come out is you know, the conventional jobs they were there, they'll still be there. You know, a doctor, an engineer, an MBA graduate. Uh, these these are. Uh, a lawyer you know judiciary is there you know all the regular uh, areas of uh, you know operations that were still happening will still be there but there will be a lot of new avenues uh, you know there are careers that we haven't even thought would have existed you know maybe 5 7 years back who would have thought a small application called tiktok exactly. would have raised millionaires uh, you know, and all they had to do was show some reels. The same is happening with Instagram. Social media influencing has been, you know, like no. I, in fact, the all the businesses across the world. In fact, you talk about any school guidance, any school intake is now more dependent on social media, uh, yeah. you know, platforms rather than regular holdings and, uh, you know, newspaper advertisements that were there. Uh, you you talk about music, you know, in music, there are vocalists, there are so many uh, avenues that have opened up uh, where you're talking about, uh, you know, music production, you know, we, we no longer need singers to produce music is, is what we have seen, exactly. you know, sounds from the computer can basically entertain the world around uh, music production, you know, where there is a whole lot of scope. Uh, the whole lot of avenues that have opened up with the OTT platforms, if you're looking at. So we discussed this at length, you know, in our previous event where we were talking about non-conventional skills or non-conventional career options that are present in front of the students. Now, in a conventional uh, sense, uh, what we expect specifically from schools is to focus on careers like data sciences, uh, you know, financial literacies, you know, teach students how to basically help themselves to build a house rather than build, uh, you know, any any of the uh, you know, financial savings, tax savings, all of those factors has to be constructed. So the students need to learn on life skills rather than textbooks is what we have really come up. Textbooks are important, courses are important, but you know, when India, so I was just listening to uh, Prime Minister Modi, Modi's uh, speech the other day where, you know, the scope or where the vision of a leader of, of the country is that by 2025, every person should have a house on his own. Then uh, the savings yes. of an individual becomes all the more important. And that is not being taught in at the school level, the how to save money uh, there are you know one web series comes on Herschel Mehta scam you know we see a total rise of DMAT accounts open you know multi-fold by just one web series so so the avenues in front of the students are really really high we have no longer been limited to uh, you know the conventional uh, options of uh, of employment today for the students. So the school counselors also need to be aware that, you know, apart from the regular options, if a student is good at, you know, video creation, there is an option to that. So uh, I think with that, we should uh, close in the panel because we have a lot of options now for the students. So there, there cannot be one point that says, okay, I have not, there is, a student can be successful or an individual can be successful by following any kind of a career path that is laid in front of them. Exactly, and as we all exactly, know, sir. as we all know that it's it's not about you know money making, 
education was never about money making unfortunately in india it turned out to be uh, you know where parents yes. and the whole focus of the education was mera beta kitna kamayega at the end of the day so you know uh, that yeah. does not have to be there you can earn money by doing a lot of stuff it is more about gaining the education gaining the knowledge and and learning more about life is more important is what i feel and i think this was such a wonderful panel i've been listening to the complete panel discussion you know, while being yes. offline so thank you so much uh, dr ramesh uh, thank Nitu you so ma'am chaya ma'am and varun sir for being joining in for this thank amazing you. panel uh, we would love to have you back again we would love to have all the school counselors maybe uh, as well where we could meet them physically and try to discuss uh, more of such activities in the near future Definitely. thank you so much for this amazing panel sure, thank you sir have a wonderful day thank ahead. you sir thank, thank you. you for joining us thank you thank you thank you sir thank, thank you sir. Thank you, thank you, you ma'am thank you so Jayan, just thank just you. a small update from universal mentors association we are going to start off with our next panel very very soon it will be at round 110 exactly half an hour from now so all you wonderful viewers join us back at 1 o'clock so that we could sure, start sir. off with the next panel thank you have thank a wonderful you. day thank you sir thank you yeah. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.